My name is Angelica. I am a breast cancer survivor. My name is Maribel, and I'm a two-time breast cancer survivor. My name is Helen. I'm a breast cancer survivor. My name is Shelley, and I'm a breast cancer survivor. I found out I had breast cancer uh, from my four-year-old uh, Xavier. At the time, he was about one and a half or two, and he jumped on me. He was playing around, and when he jumped on me, I went to feel my breast or rub it, and I felt a lump. My story started at age 28 when I discovered that there was um, something coming out of my breast. I had just gone for my, I went every year for mammography and I went for my annual checkup and my doctor found it and jumped right on it and said go across the street, get a needle biopsy, we're going to take care of this. In 2006 I discovered a lump during the self-examination. Um, my doctor said um, it, it was the same breast cancer that I had um, 16 years before and he said it's, it's, um, this can be treated. And I finished up the chemotherapy in May of 97 and to me my surgeon took out the tumor and I had positive thoughts. I had 16 weeks of chemotherapy at the Health First Infusion Center and the nurses, the technicians, the doctors, they were all wonderful and created a very tranquil environment. I have a special memory from that time because my mother, who has since passed away from cancer, knitted caps such as these, uh, not just for me, but for everyone who was undergoing the chemo um, treatments and needed to keep warm. I kept, as you can see, several of the caps, but we also, at the end of my journey, donated many to the infusion center. This is Nathaniel, he's my 16 year old, and he's in the sports medicine program at Heritage High School, I'm very proud of him. This is my Marine vet, he did four years in the Marines, I'm very proud of him, and his lovely wife, Kimberly, who's going to UCF. Uh, yes, this is my family. And uh, yes, we are a goofy bunch. Uh, my husband, Rick, my son, Logan, and my daughter, Lauren. She is there as we're trying to take a picture. She's trying to catch snowflakes. This is what makes life, life better. Time with family, time with my children, which are best thing in my life. Uh, Frank and I have been married 48 years last fe this February. Uh, we have two children, both grown, married, married local children, so we have all five of our grandchildren here, which is wonderful. This is a picture of my children that I kept in my cancer notebook, and every time that my journey was tough, emotionally or physically, I would look at this picture for inspiration. Ten years later. Ten years later, these are pictures of them graduating from high school. Early detection is everything. It is a matter of saving your life. It can mean everything. Do not let cancer rule your life. You have to take charge, and you have to say there are ways. But the care that I have given everything here locally is such a it's such a great thing. I have gone through their advice uh, outside to get uh, second opinions, but everybody has said, you have great care, you just, you don't need to go anywhere. Stay with your doctors. And that's what I have done. And I'm very happy with the care that I have received. I'm right here. I have so much gratitude for those who have helped me through my journey. And on my last day of chemotherapy, we celebrated in the Infusion Center at Health First. And as a small, very small token of my gratitude, I gave to each of the nurses, the technicians, the receptionist, and later to all of the doctors and their support staff, everyone who helped me along my journey, this frame with my expression of thanks. And I'd like to share that with everyone. Thank you for being a quiet hero, helping and caring without asking for anything in return. You gave me a sense of hope and comfort and gave me such tremendous support through my cancer journey. 
You have made a difference in my life, and I want to thank you for the care you provided. I truly appreciate your dedication, commitment, compassion, and kindness. Love, Shelley Cooper.